In the editing room, it's important to be both fast and flexible. And that's why it's so great that Frame.io Camera to Cloud links directly with Final Cut Pro. Because Final Cut can work with almost any file type and supports H.264 proxy files natively, Frame.io C2C proxies can be imported directly into a Final Cut event. And you can start editing immediately. When your cut is locked, you can export an FCP XML for online, or you can swap to the OCF using the proxy workflow for final delivery directly from Final Cut Pro. Okay, so let's see how this works. The first thing we need to do is open the Frame.io Final Cut Pro workflow extension. Now I can access anything that's on my Frame.io account without leaving Final Cut. So I'll navigate to my cloud devices directory, and here are the camera to cloud proxies right from set. I can drag those proxies directly from the Frame.io project into the Final Cut event. Once I drag the files over, they will be downloaded in the back end and import automatically. Final Cut Pro has a lot of syncing options, including syncing by timecode, audio waveforms, or by manually setting a sync point. <sighs> Snooze. Once you've synced your clips, you can edit directly with your H.264 files without doing any further transcoding. So here you can see my edit, which is an HD from those camera to cloud proxies that were sent right from set. I'm done with this edit. So now I want to relink to the camera originals. So how does one do that? First, select all the clips in your event that you would like to relink. Select File, Relink Files, Original Media. Second, in the relink window, highlight the clips you want to relink and click Locate Selected. Navigate to the folder that contains your original media and click Choose. Lastly, Final Cut will tell you which files it paired and if there are any issues. Check for problems, correct any if necessary, and then click Relink Files to finish the process. One super important thing for Final Cut Pro, but also just like in general with any proxy workflow, the audio configurations of your proxies and originals have to be exact. Otherwise, they won't relink. For example, if your camera proxies record two channels of audio, your originals also need to have exactly two channels of audio. This shouldn't be a problem if you set both your camera and cube audio settings to stereo, for example. But if you use a dual system audio, you can always relink just empty audio tracks with a video file. So they're like ghost tracks. They're there, but they're silent. A lot of people use DaVinci Resolve as an online tool and keep Final Cut Pro for the offline edit. Well, the good news is that these apps are already optimized to work together, so you can send an XML directly to Resolve to relink and finish your project. 